hope everybody's okay okay so we're coming on to do this card and it's using the oh so eclectic okay and you get the dies you get them in a bundle that's one of my boys barking um you will save 10 percent at the mini <laughs> When the new catalogue comes, I think you can still buy them, but not as a bundle. So keep your eyes out on that. Um, I'm using Fresh Fig, Whisper White, as you can see. That's not actually Fresh Fig. I think that is Elegant Eggplant. elegant eggplant. So we'll put our fresh fig away and we're going to use the elegant eggplant. Right so I've already die cut my flowers out and I shall show you the dies. Okay so these dies if you want them to stay in the paper this is the one I've used okay for this. If you want them to stay in the paper, sorry about the glare off this light, um, you would just use that one. If you want to cut it out completely, you would... <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves for a minute till figure out which way it goes. <laughs> Anyway, you would use the outer edge to cut it out completely. <laughs> oh dear Lord. And I've also cut two of these out. And they're from the... Falling... Floral... Floral... Thinlets. <laughs> can't remember we used it yesterday anyway so I've just cut two of them out but I'm going to do something with them anyway they're not going to stay as is I've got my ink I've got my stamp and look I haven't even used it yet so none of it's prepped so as she knocks everything over I'm going to use this stamp I'm only using the stamp to stamp on the inside, sorry. So I'll take my backing off. Then, got a stamp block. It will go on the smallest stamp blocks, but this is just what my D block, yep. And I add it to hand, so. We can, and as you can see, it's one of the old ink pads. I will get round to using my new ones sometime. And it's a foam back stamp, so I don't need a stamping mat or anything. And I'm just going to go over in this corner. Stamp down. And again in this corner. Okay. And we'll do one more. And again, we're going to go in this corner. I'm sorry if there's a glare off my mat. It's just that um, I've had to open the blind because you had the impression of the blinds. <laughs> um, I also want to do a little sentiment. Let's see what we've got in this pack. Um, you're just lovely. 
missing you. Oh, hello, friend, and I like you. I'll put, oh, hello, friend. That's the one I'll use. You can mix and ma match out of your other stamp sets. I just want to use the one stamp set and the one die set, to be honest with you, apart from these. But they're not going on as is. As I say, they are going to be cut up in a minute. So, our uh, oh, hello, friend. Put that on my block. Get some ink onto it. Yep, we look all right there. Just going to go for the centre. Okay, I'm going to leave them out so that I know to clean them. Put me in away before I get it all over me. If there's anything you want me to show or demonstrate, please feel free to ask. You know, don't be shy or anything. We're all friends. <laughs> um, just leave me a comment down below. Or if you are shy, just send me an email. Because that's what I'm here for. I think it's better when you can see a product um, and see what it can do um, if you do decide that you want to invest in it. You know, and that's what I'm here for. To help you make your right decisions, so to speak. I haven't got that straight because I can't see properly with the sun. <laughs> Come on. We were doing so well. Okay. Now don't forget, if you do leave them in your cardstock, your die, die cuts, you can also use them as stencils, um, you know, so give that a go as well. All you'd have to do is just get your paper and use it that, like that and just your dabber and use it as a stencil. Um, I might want to, th I'm thinking of putting colour back there actually. So, in this collection... I know it's not meant for what I'm going to be doing. Um, you get... Oh look at the sun. You can't see a baldy thing. This... <laughs> this stamp there. So, what I might do is I might put that behind there actually. And give it a bit of the colour. We're just winging it now. <laughs> so we'll give this go. If it doesn't work, no loss. Let me just make... Oh, sorry for banging. Just make sure I can get it in underneath each flower. Let me see on this smaller block. Ah, it's fitting better with the smaller block, so I'll get my ink back out. Winging it now, ladies. Whew, tell you. I hope you can still see and see what I'm on about. <laughs> so I've picked that stamp up. Sun's awful. We moan when we don't have it, and then we moan when we do have it. I'm just trying to get it. Pick me in cup. And for some reason, it doesn't want to ink in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> 
because I'm doing something that's oh here comes the sun again. So I'm pushing this up. Oh, it's got the yeah, I know why now. But alright. We're cooking now. It's not meant to be filled in. <laughs> it's supposed to look like you've watercolored it. That's why it wasn't coming out properly. <laughs> I'm just going to go over this one here because I missed it a touch. There we go, so give that a bit of colour. We can always stick that down, I'm not bothered. And what I'm aiming for is, because I ran this through twice, it has actually left a little embossing. Let me see if you can see. You just catch it there, the embossing, because I ran it through on both sides. So it has actually caught the embossing, which is brilliant, because then now I know where to stick my stamp. <laughs> And that's just going to carry the colour um, right the way through our card. And we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. And as I say, we can glue them sides down. Not an issue. I'll start on the side that's already where the ink's already dry. And I have to say, I am well chuffed with this glue. Now... I'll tell you where I got it. I had a friend message me because she said it was too painful watching me <laughs> every time I come in to show you something watching me f fight with me glue. Now this is Pantel liquid adhesive and it's brush glue and it's actually, you can see it there, it's actually from the works. It's a 50ml bottle and it costs two pound and I'm actually winning with this <laughs> so it may um, I will probably stock up on it because <laughs> as I say I'm winning with this one and it's not fighting back Oh, see the trouble I have with adhesives. Honestly, you would not believe. <laughs> so we're going to squish that down. You can see I've almost got them central. It's just that sun's blinding me. But we're going to put some sparklies on there anyway, so we'll not worry about that. Get me adhesive on the back of this. So we can get it in. And it is clear adhesive. It does dry clear. Doesn't have a smell on it. I do love our Tombow adhesive. But I just seem to end up in a sticky mess. <laughs> I know if it's not one thing, it's another. Right, so I've got that quite a bit bordered on either side, as you can see. So I'm just going to squash it down. Make sure it sticks. Have you all been in order that aim um, share what you love sweet? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I will be doing some with that actually as I've got me stamping on. Right now we're gonna do some sparklies, I think. 
we need some razzle dazzle on there they're too big so I can't use the pearls because they Ooh. Um, there's all my gems I'm just looking through my gems whether to use some of the glitter ones. I think they're too light. I've got me. I can put a couple of them on, can't I? Hang on there. We'll stick some of them on so. Because they're already open. Um, pokey tool. So if I just put one in the centre of each Who doesn't like a bit of sparkle? Hmm? So if we do that Okay, so we've got that, and then what I'm going to do with the die cut um, that we've done is I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to cut. I'll show you with my snips. I'm just going to cut. If I cut round like that. And like that, and I'll get my little gems out, my little tiny ones. Okay, and that's give us our butterflies. See, I said to you, don't always look at your dyes as what they're really meant for. Um, what you want to start doing is, when you get them, cut them all out, okay, spread them all out in front of you and see what else you can see. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating because I'm cutting. So I'm just going to cut a couple more out. Okay, we'll have to tidy this. No, I can't use that one because I've cut into it. Right, I'm going to cut this off. Tidy this up. And I'm just using my paper snips. They get used for everything, these. And again, you're just going to Cut round and folly that one round. Okay, get rid of that one because I've cut into it. Clean this one up. Okay, so we've cleaned that one up and again we're going to cut round and again on the other side we're just going to cut round. Okay, so there's our four butterflies that we're going to stick on and like I said I'm going to stick a tiny gem. So just cut all your dies, see what they're looking like. Um, let me just get my tiny gems. Wherever they be. Oh, 
what I'll use is a couple of me. Couple get the give it some added texture and give them a sparkly one. So we're gonna stick them on. So a little dab of glue on the back. Figure out where you want to stick them. And this is this glue is handy as well with it having a brush on. Um, you don't seem to waste as much. I'm just sticking glue on the back. I'm just trying to get it in the centre so that I can stick the wings up so that it doesn't look like a flower okay so let me see now I've got some sparkles on and little butterflies I love these mind you I'm like a magpie I love everything sparkly don't want to blind you with the glare though I don't know whether I'll get me little tiny diamantes because I think having two on there and make it look more like a butterfly rather than one big one because it still looks like a flower <laughs> and I don't want it to so I'll get me little diddy ones sorry about the rustle A new packet, you see. Thing didn't want to come off, so we'll take a couple of the smaller ones. Let's say if we put one there and one there, and then if we bend the wings back up when we're done. Hobbies and birdies on nights tonight, so okay, just bend them wings back up so we know it's a butterfly and not a flower. And there's our card for today. Ladies and gents, not that you can see it because of the sun. <laughs> Let me see. Hang on. That's a bit better. So, <laughs> it's not really. <laughs> oh dear that any better? Nope. There. <laughs> I'll put my side light on. So that's what we've done. So our butterflies we made out of one of these 
out of the flourish framelits, thinlets even. Okay, so they're the butterflies. The flower is out of the um, eclectic layers thinlets. You can just see that there. And then we use the stamps out of the oh so eclectic. So that's our card, our butterflies, and on the inside. And that's using the elegant eggplant, which I think is retiring, another one. Um, and the whisper white. So I hope you give that a go. I'm sorry about the lighting. I hope you did manage to see what I was at. <laughs> um, if not, leave me a message and I can always redo it again. So there you go. Um, what was I going to say? <clears throat> the new, the, the, you can now pre-order the Share What You Love Sweet and it's in three bundles um, for you to choose from and you can also order your ink colours ink pads as well they will let you order them now um, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you are looking for a catalogue please, please leave me a message down below or shoot me an email um, and I'll get one out into the out in the post here. I can't even talk properly today. I've got that much going on in my head that I need to get done before we go away. Um, yeah, so shoot me an email with your home address on. I just wanted to show you these yesterday. I did mention them yesterday. And I couldn't put my hand to them. This is the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. Okay, we were talking about this yesterday. This is the Polka Dot Tool. This is the Whisper White one. I do believe they do have a very vanilla and these are the pearlescent doilies okay they are pearlescent and what I was saying to you because they they have a coating on them you can also use them as a stencil okay so yeah if you would like to become a part of our team also please leave me a message down below or again shoot me an email and I'll get you set up with that and I would very much appreciate it if you did and um, want to become a part of our team it's an awesome awesome team and um, we've just come back there from on stage live which was brilliant in Telford and there's another one coming up in November and um, so can't wait for that one to meet up with the rest of our te my team and all um, and my uplines team it, they're absolutely lovely ladies they're all lovely because we've all got the same thing in common and um, so you know you will fit in you will get on and have a blast mental a lot of them mental but anyway <laughs> so i hope you give that a go I hope you've managed to see what I was doing. Um, and yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Um, I'll speak to you all tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. I hope the sun's shining and you're not getting hailstone like us. Um, so take care and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.